Well, do I have tough acts to follow or what? <laughs> I'm basically here to say thank you. Thank you for all you've done to get us where we are today. I want to thank all those meetings, all those back home meetings. I want to thank you for all those emails, because you see, they really did work. Yeah. All those letters and all that you do every day in the front lines because you know what works. I want to thank our speakers. I want to thank our legislators who have stood with us, who have taken a beating in many, many cases that we know about, and for the political courage that the Education Committee and the Speaker and the President of the Senate have shown because they are with us and they too know what works. And there's some other people in the audience who often go unrecognized that I want to thank personally, and that's the CEA staff. I, I think I am the luckiest woman in the world, not only to represent 43,000 members, but to have a staff that works day and night and has given up incredible amounts of overtime and time and not one complaint, not one problem, and we are all in this together. Thank you, everyone. Now, where do we go from here? It's not over. And I hate to tell you the bad news, it's not going to be over May 9th because our opponents are not going away. They are going to be here for a long time, but you know what? So are we! So please jam up that email. Write those letters. Don't give up now. We still have two weeks to go, and we all know anything can still happen. Tonight is not the end, but we're getting closer. And so we must never, never, never give up. I want to thank everyone for being here tonight. I want you to go home and talk about this tomorrow in the teachers' rooms and talk about it with your colleagues and your families. And please keep those cards and letters and meetings going because that's what works. What you did got us here today. Thank you very much.